I'm going to be begin, guys, by asking. I mean, you guys obviously pitched this this idea in the first place. And I always get this impression at Disney that there's all these ideas floating around. Everyone's always kind of trying to create new stories. I was wondering what it was in particular about this story that made you think this is one we want to we want to take on and take to the next level. Yeah, well, I, I think the arena. First off, just this world of the Pacific Islands was so inviting. Having read novels set there and seeing these paintings by Paul Gauguin and seeing sculptures like the heads at Rapa Nui, it just seemed like a very powerful visual landscape. So that was the first appeal. But that led me to read Polynesian mythology. And because, again, these stories hadn't been treated in Disney anywhere, and this, particularly this character of Maui, who was a trickster, a shapeshifter, had a magical fish, he could pull up islands, he was sort of a superhero demigod, that seemed like a, a great character to do an animation that would be more fun than live action. So that was really the impetus to pitch that to John Laster. And he liked the idea, but then he said, you've got to yeah, do we... more research. And so we were sent, forced to go to the South Pacific, where we went to Fiji and Tahiti and some This was five years ago. And we spent about three weeks there and really learned a lot that we then incorporated yeah, the, in the, the movie. The story changed quite a bit after that trip. The, the story we pitched was really a story that centered around Maui and was, was based on several myths sort of combined. After we went on the trip and, and we learned about navigation and how important it was to, to the culture of these people, that they were the greatest navigators the world has ever known, and we learned about their deep connection to the ocean and how they talked about the ocean as if it were alive, their connection to their ancestors, their, their connection to nature. Um, when, once we got back then, we focused on uh, a different story. We kept Maui, but then we added a new character, Moana, this Which teenage girl really, yeah. who goes on yeah. this hero's journey. Right. Because I remember when the, the guys were making Frozen, they yeah. all got sent on a trip to Norway. So then I saw my wine was coming out, and I thought, okay, I know what you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, well, certainly. <laughs> well, we, we joke about Alfred Hitchcock, where, yeah. you know, in his 60s and that, he stopped making movies that were set in inclement places, and suddenly he's making movies on the Riviera and places like that. We were following in his footsteps. Yeah, John Lester is a fanatic about research, and research can be fun if you're doing it in, in, <laughs> in places that are Inviting. fun to research. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you guys are working with, with Dwayne Johnson on this one, who is yeah. one of the my favorite people in the entire yeah. world. It, mu it must just, but that sort of enthusiasm must be so infectious on set, and also you really mm. allowed it to come <clears> through <throat> in the character. Was that that's sometimes quite rare, but it sort of reminded me a bit of Eddie Murphy in in, in Mulan as well, yeah. giving him that license to be we himself did. in a yeah, way. We, yeah, yeah, it really was built yeah, around he him. Was, uh, he was very eager actually to be a part of the movie because of his Samoan roots which he's very close to, and it was not a tough sell. And he's good um, at improv, like you said, yeah. with the Eddie Murphy type thing. We encouraged him to improvise, and he can. He's very funny, and he was excited about singing, too, which he had never done in a film like this. So he was very loose and very <clears throat> directable and willing to try anything, and, and uh, really a hard-working guy. So we yeah, a, yeah. a lot of fun to work with him. I was wondering about that sort of sense of freedom because obviously the the, the shiny song, <laughs> yeah, uh, by Jermaine Clement. I mean yeah. that song is pure sort of flight of the Concords. I it mean, is. Yeah, pure you were given this kind of license to to have that sort of the sensibilities of that show yeah. in this Disney movie. That must have been quite free. Well, it's well Jermaine Clement prestige, is is, yeah. is from the islands as well. He's from New Zealand and and. Uh, and when uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda wrote that song for Jermaine Clement because he knew he was going to be playing the role, so he he actually kind of watched. I think he was already uh, a fan of Play of the Congress, but then he binge watched yeah. several seasons of it and got a sense of what kind of song would fit him. And the whole kind of David Bowie esque song grew out. Actually, it was written right around the time Bowie passed away, and it was it's in our way. It's a almost a tribute to Bowie. I feel like because uh, of the the approach to the material. And just my sort of final question really is, I mean, visually this film is, is remarkable. I mean, not just the, the kind of the more surrealistic and fantastical elements, but just the way the kind of sun glistens off of the water. Yeah. Now, obviously, you guys did the, the little, little Mermaid. We did. And I was just wondering, I mean, how this kind of newfound technology and the yeah. way we can make films look now, it, that, does that improve your storytelling? Do you find it easier to, to tell your story well, now? Well, for this movie, I think it, 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 it certainly helped um, make the movie more immersive in terms of the beauty and, and the atmosphere of, of this world, it, it was still difficult, very difficult to achieve, I think, um, even when we started this movie and we presented these ideas of the ocean as a character and how much we were doing with the ocean, with the lava monster, was, with various things. A lot of this had never been done before, and, and we have a lot of really talented people at Disney, but, but when we presented the ideas, they were like, we actually don't know how to do this. This has not been done. But we, we will figure it out um, in time, and, and, uh, and they did. Uh, a lot of testing, a lot of research um, in terms of uh, 
in terms of the beauty of this film, which which when we saw it all come together, we were kind of blown blown away by. Yeah, I mean, we were like you in a way. We'd see these finished shots, we're like, wow, <laughs> like we didn't really know it would be that good, and so it, we were constantly amazed by the the great work they came up with. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Okay. It's been a real okay. pleasure. Thank yeah, you. thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.